Hi everybody, this is Angel Arts and welcome, welcome, welcome to another live stream, Telltale's live stream. This is Let's Live Stream Telltale's The Walking Dead, the final season. This is what I guess I'm calling season four, which is the final installment of Clementine's um, Clementine's story. I have no idea what has befallen her, other than the fact that she has grown a little older since last we saw her. Um, but if this is, just your, this is your first time coming to my channel, hi, welcome. If you, this is your first time being the live stream, please let me know that it's your first time so I can welcome you thusly. And if you are on the chat, please say hi so I can say hi to you back. Um, and I guess just really quickly, if you've never been to my channel before, um, I highly recommend that you check out the intro to my channel. When I post this on my YouTube, I'll post a link somewhere, um, which it, I, I, I tend to have a very specific uh, Let's Playing style, um, which is not compatible with everyone, but might be compatible with you. So uh, please check that out just to make sure that we're a good fit for each other. And if everything still looks great, come back and I would love to hang out with you and experience this game with you. I have played the other three seasons, so I'll try to put links to those too if you're interested in watching my experience to this from the very beginning. This is your first live stream, the Igasass? Well, welcome to your first live stream, the Igasass. Everybody, please give the Igasass a warm welcome. We're a friendly group here. Um, uh, yeah, MEC's Walking Dead is a bit watered down now. Oh, yeah, I, I'm. We can talk more about um, the the TV show after the fact if you want to save that for the Q and A session because I would love to talk about the TV show. Competo uh, Kiss, are you planning on doing a Let's Talk too? I don't know if the other people usually talk with have played it yet though. So um, really quickly. The, the answer to that is, I don't know yet, because the honest answer is, I don't know if people like... Um, I know that Kathleen um, says that she's starting to lose interest in Telltale games in general. I don't know if that includes The Walking Dead. The last I heard, she might be playing the game, but I don't know how quickly she's going to play it. Um, Lucky Jack is thinking about playing it. I have no idea if David is interested in playing it. And Carson's probably going to play it. Um, and then I don't know about uh, Jacob and um, Mark and Jacob. Um, I don't know. So the answer is I don't know. Uh, I, would, I would like to, but it really depends on the interest and availability of the other player, the other people that I normally do it with. I will find out, but I don't, we'll see. Uh, good question though. Um, are you guys interested? First of all, like I don't, I wasn't sure if there was interest in us having a let's talk. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know, and I will definitely consider it. Um, I haven't played the first episode yet, but I want to just watch the first one to see if I should invest in it. Fake spoiler: Clementine gets turned to a zombie, and you spend the rest of the game as one. Actually, that would be kind of interesting. Playing the game as a walker, <laughs> that would be interesting. Um, Aren't there like over seven seasons? Might be hard to keep going. Uh, I did finally watch Stranger Things though. Kind of wish someone warned me at the first season finale being like epilepsy, including like 80% of the episode. Oh, no spoilers, but I like this episode. Oh, I'm excited. I always wait for your space to go blind with you. Oh, Skitty. That's so sweet, Skitty. Welcome to the live stream. Yes, I made it a stream. Hey, Claudio, welcome to the live stream. Um, I just did a marathon of your last playthrough. Good luck, Hark. Thank you. I hope I hope so. Same here. My theory, pretty common one, is that Clem or AJ will die, or you choose which one dies, even if it'd be a cliche to be Lee all over again. Yeah, I'm hoping that it doesn't end up being a repeat. I feel like everyone is half expecting Clementine to die. Nobody wants Clementine to die, but I feel like nobody would be surprised. I don't think anyone would be shocked if Clementine died in the end, or could die in the end. I'm almost, I'm almost positive that Clementine could die in the end, but I don't think she necessarily has to, but we will see. Um, that's my theory, personally. Um, welcome the, 
welcome the guest says hope you enjoy your live stream I, I, I always really enjoy this episode I also really enjoy this episode pies um, the brightest day in the darkest night no spoiler shall escape the light of my mod sight thank you Redham I didn't watch any of the other LPs out there till this day. It was very hard, but I'm glad I avoided every spoiler so far. Just saw the demo and trailers and reviews of such. I have not watched any demos. I know that there was like a demo of this game that was released. I didn't, I didn't do any of that. Um, I wanted to go into this completely blind. Nothing. I don't want to know anything. Um, it's too obvious at this point for Clem to die. Guys, um... Yeah, I made it to the stream. Even after watching a trailer, you should clear your history just in case, because it tends to put recommended stuff. Yeah, that's that's a tough part. A lot of the I've actually had to temporarily unsubscribe to certain Let's Players that I watch because they keep putting spoilers in the thumbnails and in and sometimes even the titles of their videos. I'm like, don't put spoilers on the title. At least if you're going to do that, and I try not to do that at all. But if you're ever going to do that. Wait at least like a month. Wait a month before you start putting spoiler filled like titles and thumbs thumb th thumbnails into the video. I don't know. That's what I like to do because I don't want spoiling anyone with anything. And I try to do that with my videos as well. Um, welcome, uh, Sakri. Yes, welcome, Sakri, to the Sakra Sakri, I think is how you pronounce it, to the live stream. Um, Share your like a prompto for Final, F Final Fantasy XV. I love prompto. Telltale might pull a 180 with Clem dying theory. Hopefully, I, I, hopefully she'll be fine. K uh, Cabe song, welcome to the live stream. Um, only one episode out currently. Oh, uh, Mike, Mike, welcome to the live stream. I think this is your first one, right, bud? Yeah. Um, there was a comment in the trailer, like, if Clem dies, you riot, and Telltale gave it heart, a heart. So I don't know if they're trolling or not. I don't know. Uh, I would not put it past them to kill off Clementine, if it makes sense. Um, has, some, has somebody, has just something different, has somebody had news about Dragon Age 4? Nothing really substantial. I know they're planning on making it, I just don't know anything substantial. Uh... The train in the background reminds me of the one from the season one in Duck. Oh, Duck. Lee Senpai is the best. Um, good, you will have some questions. I am ready to ask your questions at the end of this playthrough then. So correct me if I'm wrong, but this game is made from the new engine they have, right? I think so. I hope so. Maybe I'll find a difference. I'm unsure if this one is a new engine, but Wolf is. Wolf Among Us, yes. Um, okay, so no, but their next games will be. I miss Luke, Nick, Doug, Carly, Ben, Pete. I kind of prefer them not um, doing the final se season in the new engine. The only reason I say that is because I feel like this is such a classic. It's classic. And so they started with this engine. They might as well end with this engine just to keep everything like feel consistent, you know? So I don't mind that at all. And then when we have the new wave of games, you can have a different engine. Um, interesting. The Avenger, no, it's not his new engine. It's the old one. Well, stream is over. Have a good day, people. Um, so Telltale's doing a Stranger Things game. Yes, I would be awesome to that. Um, Pixel, Pixelitis Jess. Hi, Hark. Me and my sister have been a subscriber of yours ever since you started playing the first season of the series. So we're excited to be here and experience the last season with you. Oh, Pixel. Pixel lit, lit, litis, Pixelitis Jess. Sorry if I botched your name. Thank you. That's a long time. I mean, I played season one a while ago, so thank you for, for hanging out with me this whole time. That's so, that's so sweet. Um, hey, Mark, stream's back. Yes. Uh, Hope Telltale Godzilla. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of the actors, but it was pretty cool. One of them was Game Grumps. Cool. Um, I haven't been here since the last... The Walking Dead stream, and that was a while ago, like about a year ago, I think. Um, it has been a long time since I've screamed, streamed. Hey, welcome to the live stream, Amber AL25. Welcome. Uh, Harkstone has a nice ring to it. I would play a game where all the cards were Hark in jokes, like the Evil Maester. <laughs> oh my goodness! And then you would have to like take a sip, like a take a sip every time you got the sexy, not so sexy Evil Maester. Um. Welcome to your first live stream. 
It's kind of sad most people start disliking The Walking Dead Telltale in general. Uh, I, I think that's sad. I, I want to play it and, and then decide for myself what I think about it. Um, oh yeah, so let's talk would be nice. Uh, hi Angel Arts, long time to see. Hey Clementine! If you do a let's talk, I would be interested. However, I totally understand if you can't. Um, yeah, I'll think about, I'll, I, I have to figure out the logistics. I played all three seasons, but since there's only four episodes left, it left me skeptical. I still love Clem's voice. It'd be nice to hear her in other things. Not that I've got out of my way to search for it, though hearing, seeing Brian De Descart, Descart, I think it's how you pronounce it. I think I've been calling him De Dechart incorrectly. I think it's Descart. I love Brian as well. Brian's, Brian's a super cool, like, super cool guy who is super awesome to his fans. So much respect for people who have so much respect for their fans. In a future Telltale game would be nice too. Brian Deckhart has an amazing voice. I would love, he is a great actor and voice actor. I would love for Brian to join the Telltale team. That would be a dream come true. Um, well, she did play Trixie Trotter, who ended up becoming my favorite character in the whole Back to the Future franchise, which I also played the Back to the Future Telltale game. Very fun. Uh, I don't know anything, but I assume she will be determined so that there will be a choice which kills her or not. I hope this choice is between AJ and her. I hope the choice isn't between AJ and her, because that would be cruel. Um, and there's, a, there's also those YouTubers that do compilations like LPers react to ending of X. Yeah, that just spoils everything. I really don't like that. People, I feel like YouTubers should be more sensitive to spoilerish things like that. Don't put things in the title. They should say, they should say react to the like react to the ending of this episode, not the react to the actual thing that happened. That's a big like, that that's a big pet peeve of mine. As a, as a YouTuber myself, I I personally think that's irresponsible. Just my opinion. Um, I hate spoiler let's plays. Yeah. I honestly feel like maybe we'll have to either kill AJ or Clem might die. Otherwise, I would hope to get both to live. I noticed that too. I hope to see Clem's VA after she finishes The Walking Dead. Uh, yeah, I, I do too. She actually, um, Melissa Hutchinson, yes, the actor, voice actor of Clementine, my friend Lucky Jack, um, met both her and David, I forgot David's last name, but the gentleman who voices Lee, he met both Melissa and David and got them to record a message, a personal message to me and Colin, wishing us a happy wedding, a happy marriage, because we were about to get married. It was an amazing um, wedding gift that I absolutely love um, Lucky Jack for. So thank you, Logan, if you're watching this. Um, pet peeve, put, puts people putting spoiler in the title but showing the spoiler in the thumbnail. Yes, thank you, Lyrical Anarchist. High five to that, thank you. That is ridiculously horrible, horrible. I've never been on any of your streams, but I love the fact you can actually take the time to discuss what's happening in the game and get really invested in the characters. It's really nice. Thank you, K. Kib Song. Thank you. It's not for everyone. Some people just want me to shut up and play the game um, because it does take time. It does take time. But I like to savor. I like to savor the moment when I'm playing a game. I like to really absorb it. I don't want to rush through it, you know, because then it just ends. I kind of want to experience the whole thing, and I want to share that experience with everybody. I've never been, um, well back in the day people could, couldn't choose, had to get lucky with the thumbnails, but these days even with our partnership you can more or less choose a timestamp custom thumbnail I think. Yeah, I always try to change a timestamp. I have purposely changed the thumbnail if I felt like it was too spoilerish on my videos. Um, I believe she's in a lot of Telltale games so you probably will. Let's have Clem in Dragon Age 4. I wouldn't say no to that. Um, Let's see. I don't know if anyone else heard, but Wolf got delayed to next year. That's okay. That's okay. I, I would rather they delayed it and did the game justice and did the game right than rushing it out and having it look like it was rushed out. Dragon Age 2, I'm looking at you. Um, and that wasn't necessarily a poke at Bioware. That was more of a poke at, B at EA. Um, let's see. I liked your Detroit Become Human so much, my favorite Let's Play. Oh, thank you, Gamer Wave Chan. It's actually probably going to be one of my favorite Let's Plays that I've ever done as well. Probably, probably one of mine. A delayed game is eventually good, but a rush game is forever bad. That is, see, Kiss knows what's what. Um, this series is a whole ouch. Well, let's hopefully there's other stuff to watch, but in the meantime, I got a new comp, so I started over on Stardew Valley. 
I'm waiting for the um, new game, The I forgot what it's called, but uh, Spellbound, I think. Spellbound is from the makers of Stardew Valley, which is basically a Harry Potter Hogwarts wizarding magic school version of Stardew Valley. I'm going to be all over that. Let me tell you, I am going to let's play the snot out of that game when it comes out. Um, Hark, do you plan to play the DLC to Final Fantasy XV? I don't know. The only reasons I say I don't know is because there's so many other games on my plate that I want to get to, and playing the DLCs, while they may be short, it still would delay me from getting to some of the other games that a lot of people really want me to play. So I might at least play Prompto's DLC, because why not? But I, We'll see. I don't know. There's so, so many other games I wanted to go back to and play the DLCs for, and I haven't been able to yet, because I... Lifetime. It's hard. It's hard. Time is hard. Life is hard. Wolf Among Us has a slight history of delayed episodes and stuff. By the way, thank God I figured out PM so I could get into your Discord before the deadline ran out. Yes. Yes, me too, Evan. I think delaying is a good choice. Hark, would you like previous characters to appear or just focus on new ones? Um, because this is the final season, I would prefer if there was a choice between bringing back older characters versus introducing new ones... I would much prefer they brought back old characters because I want, because it's really cool. There's that nostalgic fe feeling. I just feel like introducing new characters is fine. It's just because this is the last season. You don't have nearly as much time to really like flesh them out and really get to know them and really get attached to them. Whereas older characters, you had history. And I feel like many, many old characters that we haven't seen in a while because they've been missing in action, like for example, Lily, or for example, Krista. All those people, there's loose ends. There's a lot of loose ends with them. So I would much prefer, much prefer, they bring back older characters than introduce new ones as much as possible. Good question, though. Hard to believe it's been six years since season one. I still tear, about, tear up about Lee. I agree. We will never get closure. We still never got closure for that one character, Krista, right? Yeah, I'm hope I am hoping we finally get closure on Krista in this season. I'm hoping because it feels like that just went nowhere. There has to be some sort of payoff for it. Otherwise, it's like I don't know. It's like it's just that is like a, such a easy win. That's low for me. Low hanging fruit that could be so satisfying if Krista there so was, was some Krista closure. Maybe Krista ends up running into Clementine at the end, but she's like like against Clementine for some reason, like she's in the rival faction or whatever, and maybe Krista is forced to, they're forced to kill each other, or forced to try to shoot each other, only one will survive, I don't know, that's just a guess. Um, can you guys tell me if I low video, can't tell me if I can low video quality, especially in the episode and stuff, um, are you a mobile or computer? Well the quality has gone down, oh, that's really strange. He did some vids with Jack Septicai. That was pretty cool. I thought Jack was still in Ireland, though I did really keep up with his vids closely, so I don't know where he currently lives now. Um, I just hope they develop AJ in a complex manner. It's kind of hard to imagine a child growing in this environment. Yeah, he's basically like Ellie from The Last of Us, right? Because Ellie was born into that situation, and AJ, this is all he knows. That's all he knows. So uh, it'd be really interesting how AJ develops or how different he is compared to Ellie. Um, I've seen someone post SU spoilers. Oh my gosh, a Connor and Hark buddy cop telltale game would be would be gold. Connor and Hank. Although Connor and Hark. Connor and Hark buddy cop thing would be awesome too. <laughs> I would not say no to, to Connor and Hark. Um, let's see. I really dislike rea YouTubers reacting to blank showing up in a feed randomly. Um... The video is really slow and it's distracting. I saw the wedding video. It was adorable. Um, it must have been great to hear the voice actors cheer you on. Thank you. I remember while I saw a LP thumbnail of the first season of The Walking Dead, the title said, Why Lily, Why? And in the thumbnail you could see Carly O. Oh, why even bother to watch it when you already know what happens in this part? I know, seriously. I hate when YouTubers do that. It completely spoils everything for the people who haven't seen anything. And the thumbnails are definitely the worst. Yeah, because you want to describe... That's the thing. I want to subscribe to these people. I want to subscribe to them. But then their videos show up. You know, they always say, like and subscribe and hit the bell. But then 
then they like spoil you because you haven't had a chance to play the game or watch a other let's play of it you know so i'm like i think that's irresponsible if you're telling your viewers to like and subscribe and hit the hit the bell but you're like putting out stuff that's a spoiler that could spoil your viewers i feel like that is a disservice to the viewers so i feel like that's that that that's that that should not be a thing um i you could always try to close the browser and open it. I wish we could block channels for appearing so we could avoid spoilers and thumbnails. Um, I didn't mind it because I'm the type to watch all the series at once, look up spoilers on purpose, though kind of video compilations are done within a week, so it's like a couple of top popular ones you've finished in. Some people haven't heard of rather than a variety of YouTubers. Yeah, I love your Until Dawn, Detroit Become Human, and Final Fantasy XV. Yeah, I love, un I love Until Dawn as well. Um... Let's see. Do a year of DLC. <laughs> I just, I'll just do a year where I don't play any new games. I just keep playing DLCs of other games. I'm sure people would love that. Peekaboo892, welcome to the live stream. Um, well, Twitch always seems to lag a little bit because live streams aren't perfect. Oh, also, have you heard of the theory that they might bring back Lily? I mean, I would not be surprised. I would love for them to bring back Lily. Lily. I would love for also them to bring back Luke. Surprise, he's actually okay. <gasps> that would be the best thing ever if Luke just showed up at the end and he gave this really ridiculous deus ex machina reason for coming back to life and everybody else would groan except for me. Everyone else would be like, oh, really? And I would be like, yes, Luke, you're back. Luke, you're back. Krista was killed off, off screen and was the only death that was not shown, was not shown and not confirmed. Uh, yeah, it wasn't confirmed. Did Lily sh didn't Lily show up in the comics? Uh, I don't keep up with the content outside of the game, though while Tumblr pretty much loves her, I'm kind of meh. She got better near the end before the storm. It's supposed to be a prequel before her character development. Wouldn't she act the same way if she did in the first episodes because being kind of reckless and bratty? Um, unless she was a chill and losing Rachel Amber made me like that. Uh, I can't believe Clem's story will be all over by the 18th of December. Oh, 18th of December. I didn't know they were going to have the game end that quickly. Um, just so you know, my cat on the right knee right, knee right now. Aw, kitty. In the comics, I believe it's a character that's called Lily, and it looks like her, but she's really a minor character and never confirmed that she's the same Lily. Right, I remember that. I haven't bothered to watch it. One LPR uh, played it, so though maybe we'll check it out eventually. Um, also, Angel, your videos have helped me a lot. I love all your Let's Plays, and it's my second live stream of yours. You're awesome. Thank you, Bite Victim. Thank you. I really appreciate you saying that. Um, so does this new season take place further in the future than the show? Uh, I believe so. I believe there. I believe this actually passes where the comics, or at least where the show is. I'm pretty sure the time jump, I think, passes. Because AJ's gotten really old. AJ's gotten a bit older, so it's got to be several years. Um, let's see... Uh, no, 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 no. I wish Luke. I, I wish. I also wish Luke would come back. Luke. Um, I miss him so much, despite his stupid mistake. What if Luke is back? Wouldn't he be older too? Um, maybe they'll see. Maybe they'll see 200 years in the timeline where Luke comes back the same way. Far, far, where they fried it from Futurama. Shh. Let Hark have this. Uh, just came back from a 10-hour trip from Belgium to France. Oh my goodness, you must be exhausted. Well, thank you for st stopping to see the, the live stream, but if I were you, I would take a nap. So, let me explain to you season three before I start the final episode, and I promise I'm going to start the game. I, I promise. I just need to explain this because I don't want people to be confused. If you have been following me all through season three, if you remember, I had some issues with the save file. My save file in season three, it like got deleted somehow it got corrupted i don't know in episode three of season three i think is when it got corrupted and i lost my data and but for some really weird reason when it auto generated my data again because i didn't i ended up just playing starting in episode three anyway like i didn't go back and replay the other two episodes because i was 
the live stream had started and I wasn't going to make my viewers sit through and watch me play through the first two, two episodes and then the episode three. So I just played episode three and for whatever reason, the vast majority, almost every single choice or major choice that I did in the previous two episodes seemed to still be intact except for one major decision, which was spoilers for season three, but if you're watching this, then you sh shouldn't matter. You should have already seen up to season three. Conrad actually died. Conrad actually died in episode two of my playthrough, but then he was brought back to life magically, but not like in the walker sense. He didn't come back to life like as a zombie or a walker. He just came back to life. <laughs> and um, nobody seemed to notice, including Conrad, that he died. Conrad didn't notice that he died. So I, had, I was forced to play through the rest of my playthrough with a living um, Conrad, even though that's not what actually happened. So, um, which is fine. So what I did is I actually went back on my own and I fixed my playthrough. And by fixed, I mean I played everything from the very beginning and I actually was playing while I had my Let's Play playing in the background side by side to make sure that I selected every single dialogue choice, like even down to the dialogue choices, I wanted to get the same. Um, and then got through you know, episode two, like kept my decision of killing Conrad because he was about to shoot Gabe. He was about to shoot my nephew. And at that point it was either Conrad or my nephew. And he stayed dead this time. Conrad stayed dead. And um, I continued playing through the rest of the game. But there were two major changes that happened because I killed Conrad. And that didn't end up happening in my playthrough. So the first major thing that happened is at the very end where you have to choose to either help Kate liberate the final frontier, the final frontier, the last frontier, or go after Gabe and David. Um, initially, with my original playthrough, Clementine decided to stay with Kate, and I went to go save Gabriel by myself. But because I killed Conrad, I think that was what made Clementine decide to come with me to save Gabe. And then Kate stayed behind by herself. And so what happened was, um, because that happened, um, Gabriel, we were able to save, he's fine. But in addition to that, his dad, David, also lived. So I think if Clementine doesn't go with you to rescue Gabe, then David dies. But since she came with me, David lived. And you have the choice of convincing David to leave or come back with us to the city. And because I was trying to be consistent to how my Javi was throughout my original playthrough, he convinced his brother David to stay. And then the last thing that happened, which was different from my playthrough, is when we got back to the, to the, the final, I keep saying the final frontier. This is not Star, Star Trek. Um, when I came back to the final front, the last frontier, we physically saw Kate as a walker. Whereas with my original playthrough, we just didn't find Kate. She was just missing in action and her fate was unknown. So it was confirmed that Kate is actually a walker now. So I don't know, it's, it, first of all, it's really cool that that one choice, that one decision did affect so much for the rest of the game. I know that The Walking Dead gets a lot of flack for you know, not really having their decisions mean anything, not really having consequences for it. And I do agree that they're not nearly as good as, for example, Detroit Become Human. And I thought Detroit Become Human is a shiny example of choice games done right. Um, I know that Telltale gets a lot of flack for that, but to their defense, that whole Conrad thing, that affected three things. It's, you know, because of that, Clementine came with us. And because of that, David survived. And because of that, Kate died because she didn't have Clementine with her back in the last frontier. So I don't know if any of this affects this story at all. I don't know if any of this will affect the final season of The Walking Dead at all. But I just want to let you know those were 
the changes because that's what was supposed to have happened if my game didn't get corrupted. And that is the save file, the fixed save file that I'm going to be using going into this season. Sorry, I had to add, to explain all that to you, but I thought it. For those of you who've been following me, I didn't want you to start being like, "What? Like, what's going on? Wait, is that Conrad? What? Wait, Conrad's dead? What?" So, yeah. Uh, everyone's having issues with saves. I remember that. I remember that. Hopefully, it won't happen again with this game. That must have been upsetting for you, Hark, losing all that juicy footage. Um, okay, I'm back. Hopefully, Conrad is eternal. Conrad is forever. Um, let's see. No, poor Conrad. Um, didn't you two like become chill after he came back? We did. We did come chill. But I. But that's not what would have happened. <laughs> you know, because that wasn't what I chose. So that would. It, it's cool. I got to see both. It's cool. I got to see how both things played out. Conrad and Trip romance, though. Yeah, that's true. Um, hopefully, the stream behaves. Yes. Um, uh, let's see. Do you want to see Lee flashback? Like it's happened in season two. Yes, I want to see a Lee flashback, and I want to see a Luke flashback. <laughs> Both a Lee and a Luke flashback, and I won't have to play the rest of this. I don't have to play the rest of the game. Once I get to that point, I'm gonna be like, oh, I'm done. Like it's all downhill from here. Now that I've got my Lee and Luke flashback, that's it. It's all downhill. Jesus and Javi should come back just for a scene. That'd be cool. Um. Choices do matter. This is why I like the third season more than the second. The lives of the other people are already in your hands. Um, let's see. It's the new frontier. Sorry, the last frontier. The new frontier, excuse me. Here we go. When the dead started walking, I was small and alone. Oh, Clem, I've missed you. Until a man named Lee became my protector. This looks just like the comics, guys. <gasps> Carly and Doug. He protected other people too. Oh, Doug, I miss you. But he couldn't save everyone. It's so cool to see them again, though. Uh, I mean, I I saved. You can yeah. never save everyone. I was one of the few who saved Doug. I love Carly. Were just as dangerous as the dead. But I love my Doug. I love me some Doug. A Doug's. woman in our group named Lily lost her dad. Yeah, she and did. And then she just couldn't cope. No, she couldn't. She took oh, the life that my heart. saved. Doug. Doug. This part of the game bothered me so much. My reaction to this, you know, before I knew Telltale, really knew Telltale, Oh my gosh, this really... My reaction to this in the video, I keep watching over and over again because it's like... Oh! Oh! And then we left we her behind. Left her on the side of the road. The fact that they're bringing up Lee Lily me how to survive. during this recap... He protected me as long as he could. ...makes me think she'll be back but in he this got season. Bit because of me. And even in the end, he was still teaching. Yeah. Because why would, why would it matter, why would they bring up Lily in the recap if she wasn't going to reappear in the season? So that's my guess. So Lee, Lee told me, Lee told Clementine to always keep moving. And always keep moving as much as you can. Oh. Lee wouldn't make it. He knew it was the end. He made one final request. And this was controversial, but it's what I chose. He told me to leave him. And I did. I met another group after that. Broken people, running from their past. There was a woman who gave birth to a boy named Alvin Jr. AJ, he made it, uh, but the mom didn't, uh, and I started to take care of him. Yeah, oh. Uh, but then, Jane left AJ in the snow. We thought he was gone forever. That was the last straw for Kenny, and without Lee around, I had to make the call. 
Yeah. I couldn't. And Kenny killed Jane. It turned yeah. out AJ was alive. Jane hid him to make a point. Knowing what they'd done... I still decided we were better together. For AJ's sake. But like everything else... It wouldn't last. No. AJ and I traveled to a new frontier. I thought we'd found something that worked. But I was wrong again. They took AJ from me. Said I was too young to take care of him. I thought maybe they were right. I said my goodbyes. I regretted it later. I searched for a long time. Just when I gave up hope, I found him. We're searching together now for a place we can call home. I'm all AJ has. He's all I have. And I'll protect him with my life. Just like Lee. This is just Did like me. the the image of Lee and Clementine when Lee was protecting Clementine with the axe. It's just like that. They did that on purpose. Oh, Telltale, how have I missed live streaming with you? I hope they show an explanation as to how Clementine found AJ and got him back. Because they they just skipped over. And said, oh yeah, AJ's with us now. No big. Maybe as a flashback is my guess. So. I... Whatever mixed feelings people had about Javier. I hope we see Javier this season. Because, you know. He, he survives. And I feel like... Oh no, D's coming off of her hat. That hat's been through so much. The, the hat... And how worn it is, is like a like um, a personification of Clementine, because it's so weathered. Oh, there's the there's AJ, and he's got a gun, because I mean. What you doing there, goofball? Pretending we got bullets. Pretend. Well, don't. It's getting on my nerves. How old is AJ now? I don't like goofball. I'm too big for it. <laughs> Someone's all grown up. Huh, so I guess you're all grown up now. Yep. How old are you now? Let me drive. I'm not letting you drive. What's wrong? He's hungry. AJ? Hungry. Even, even I could tell that. Oh! His broccoli. It's a broccoli toy! Is that a broccoli toy? Give magazine. Give toy. Uh, are you too old for a toy? Hey there, Alvin Jr. It's me, Disco Broccoli. <laughs> Word on the street is that you want to eat me. Is that true? Do you want to eat me? <laughs> Come on, Clem. I can't eat a toy. Oh man. This my cool. feelings are hurt. My stomach hurts. <laughs> Sassy. Disco broccoli needs to be a thing. <laughs> I want disco broccoli on my wall. This is going to be a thing. Oh my goodness. Disco broccoli. Here. Practice your reading. <laughs> but I don't wanna. It'll take your mind off your stomach. Preheat oven place cream vanilla be beans. He's like, what's an oven? Into a saucepan and bring to a boy. Uh, yeah. On second thought, never mind. That's only gonna make you hungrier. Yeah. Here you go. About all we got. What about you? Go for it. We'll find something else soon. I believe you. Oh, those two. They're so cute together. Oh, I can tell they've been through a lot.
We gonna do it? Think so. Looks clear. We're doing it. Okay. Friendly, ring bell. No trespassing. <gasps> Is that disco asparagus? There's a disco broccoli and a disco asparagus? Oh my goodness. I can't. I can't. I just can't. Why is there a big hole in the disco asparagus? Oh, it's a bullet hole? Oh no, poor disco asparagus. <laughs> we need water too. You haven't had water in day clean water in days. Oh my goodness. He calls her Clem instead of mom, so I assume he knows the basics or so. How iconic Clem's voice even though she's grown up now. Okay. Um, is there anything else? I don't think so. Okay. Good thing we got a spare tire. All right. Let's find some food. Friendly, ring the bell. What does it mean? It means the people here shoot first. Oh. Interesting. When you see, consider, oh. I don't know if I should ring the bell or not. Should I ring the bell or should I pass? Oh, gosh. I'm not sure, guys. Oh, this is a big dis... I don't know. I could go either way, honestly. All right. For those of you who have not played this game, please be honest. For those of you who have not played this game, should I or should I not ring the bell? Should I or should I not? I know what? I'm going to poll this. I'm going to poll this. This is, a, this is actually a good time for a poll. We're already starting the game live stream and we're doing a poll. What's with the 70s toys, Telltale? Why the disco area? Also, this was in the demo. Okay, well, if it was in the demo, then, and you know what happens, please don't vote. There's some anime about personified cells, basically anime, Osmosis Jones, more or less. So I can totally see some veggie fruit romance series out there. Actually, I was thinking Veggie Tales. I was a big Veggie Tales fan. Veggie Tales, Veggie Tales, Veggie Tales, Veggie Tales. Hey, Mark, Clementine transformation has been incredible. I wonder uh, when we're going to see Telltale's obligatory Banang cameo. Uh, even if no one answers, it might attract walkers, right? That is true. That might attract walkers. That is true. No trespassing as Solus. He knows all about trespassing. Oh, this music. This music, you guys. I'm so glad they kept that here. Um... Nah, pass, it doesn't bring people, it will bring the zombies. Save yourself at the hustle and say, I say, if it's Clem, I would tr wouldn't trust humans at this point. Um, uh, hey, Angel, can you vote having played, but only what you did at the time, when you have no knowledge? I think that's okay, Clementine. I think that's okay. You can vote for what you did, if, if, you, if that was honestly what you would have done, without knowing what the consequences were. Um, all right, I'm going to choose to check out the results. No. All right, all right. The, the public has spoken. The public has spoken and the public has said not to ring the bell. So, democracy at its finest. Use the mouse to look around. Okay. Avoid that walker. Another walker. AJ, stay back. Get him in the knees, just like I told you, kid. Just like I taught you. Yeah. Yes. Just like that. Oh yes. It's down. Still with me? Still here. No bites. Next, we get in there.
Yeah, I believe that song was Lee's theme. There was also another one, wasn't there? Or what, that was the one that we were... Okay, that was the one. Whoever used to grow things here is long gone. Don't look at the flowers, Clementine. Whatever you do, don't look at the flowers. Drink water? Um, I mean, sure, I guess. It seems like this was collecting water, so. Okay, maybe not as good. It's alright, it's alright. That'll help your immune system. It'll help to boost your immune system, Clementine. I like how- yeah, I do like the new 360 view. Shift and Q. They definitely have upped their game with this one. I'm very what impressed. What do we do inside a new place? We listen for monsters. After that? Uh... Come on, you remember. We... Inside a new place? We always... Find a way out. Find, find a, way a way out. out. That's right. Wherever you go, you have to make sure... AJ's always listening. This is super cool! We're like training AJ how to survive. That's the thing. Whenever you're in a new place, always know where your escape plan is. Always know how to get back out. Oh, they were tied up. Huh. Why were they tied Monsters. up? Monsters. All tied up. I wonder why. They can't get us? Should kill them, just in case. No, they can't. Hmm. Your choices determine what. Front door is the only way. Your choices determine what he will become. Oh, this is just like Lee. This is just this like one's Lee and Clementine. How will Clementine? Develop? Security door. Hmm. Can't pry that open. I know you're hungry. I am too. We'll find something. I promise. Enter the ticket booth. Look at Waffle Couple. Can I not kill them? I mean, if I might as well. Do I want to grab this key? I guess I want to grab this key. This opens the lock. I, like, I want it. It's not happening. Okay. Well, I wanted to. How do I back out? How do I back out? Am I missing something? Oh, read the note. Please leave us alone. This is what we wanted. Okay, can I at least take your key? Can I at least take your stuff? It's, oh, they poison themselves. Poison. Did they give up? They wanted to leave this world together holding hands in their own home. Will we have a home? We'll see. They're still holding hands. All right, now I can back out. Okay. Do we get the key? Mm, it's risky. Might be another way through that door. Let's look around. Let's be smart. Yeah, I taught That's you well. right. Okay. Use... There's not anything going to come out of this water fountain, but nasty stuff. If anything. Well, it wouldn't be that easy, would it? 
I really do like this 360. This is super cool. Good job, Telltale, for upping your game. Look at the table. They ate well for their last meal. Yeah. Beans! Homemade. Might be more where this came from. small to crawl through. Well, for me. Oh. The key or the window. Those are our options. It's dark in there. We should kill the monsters. They're not people. Well, they used to be people. And as people... They ask to be left alone. So what's best? Oof. That is tough. Oh, this is... It might sound like this is an easier choice than it actually is. But... It's actually... For me, it's actually tough. Because... From a practical reason, they're not gonna know. Well. Well. Um, if you believe in the afterlife like I do... They, I believe in the afterlife, so they might know. But honestly, if I'm in the afterlife, I don't care. <laughs> I wouldn't care if they, like, killed me. Let me know in, in the chat what you guys think I should do. I'm not going to do a poll for this one. I just want to hear what all of you have to say. But, and right now we're having the Forester Syndrome. That's okay. Clementine inherited the first. Clementine was the original Forester with the Forester Syndrome. Her ancestors were the Foresters. <laughs> And Lee as well. His his answer, actually, Lee was the original. Excuse me, Lee was the original Forester. Anyway, if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. But um, you would think the easy the easy decision is just kill the couple and grab the key. You know, they're dead. They're only gonna hurt other people. Like they have the capacity to hurt other people, even though they're tied up. They could escape and they could hurt other people. But Clementine also makes it a good point. They were people once, and as people, they wished their final wish, their final dying wish was to be left alone. But, I don't know, it's, because for if it were me, I don't care. Like, if it were me, I don't care what happens to my body after I die, because, because it's just my body. Um, I believe in a soul. That's just my belief. And if I believe in a soul, the soul is who I actually am, and my soul would have been long gone from the body. The body is just the vessel where my soul is. But, again, I'm not the couple. So what do you guys think? Um, let's see. Character is running. That's a new. Um, isn't it Lee's theme? Yeah, it's Lee's theme. Hi, Hark. I'm upset that Javier and Garcia aren't returning this season. Are they not? I don't know. Has, I don't know if that was ever confirmed. The Jane trick. Other than food, since AJ's still growing, it might, as, might be a pain to get clothes for him unless they strip the walkers, but those might be oversized for him and smelly. But I guess it can be used as a blanket. Um, uh, hopefully he can get more stable Wi-Fi in the future. Yeah, I hope so. Is it... Are people's... Um, is everyone else's video of this still okay? Like, I don't... It didn't sound like everybody was having an issue with the lag. The gameplay has been changed for this series along with the camera design. Um, looks more like an oil gas barrel trash than water. <laughs> Whoops. Um, I live in a house with a lot of other people. Um, Clementine has come a long way. Um, Lee would be so proud of her. I also am loving the moving hair now. I noticed that in Batman, it never ceases to make me happy. It's the little things. 
Um, Clem looks like she's wearing a denim jacket, not a red thriller jacket or haircut from S3 ending. Um, I wonder what happens if you give AJ the silent treatment the whole game. I don't know if he would like that. Suicide is the theme in the in T TG version of The Walking Dead. Hey, Hark, I'm guessing that's what you do. Reminds me a couple of from episode 5 of season 1, the one in the bed. Um, parallel to the couple in the bed at the end of season 1. One thing I don't like is that Clem will turn away after looking at something. It kind of, it's kind of annoying to look at things. It makes it kind of annoying to look at things. I love how they did the expressions. The eyes in particular have gotten better. I don't think I'd last long in the zombie apocalypse, to be honest. Me neither. I die immediately. I, I have accepted my fate. Some of the situations Clem has been in would have killed me. I think I would survive a few weeks, though. Sheer luck, not skill. Kind of difficult considering how much we influence AJ as a person. Clem's hair has changed a lot over the years. Kind of miss when she could crawl through tight spaces. I felt like we couldn't risk AJ's life just to respect the wishes of people already dead. That is true. It's a moral issue that I can understand. However, in this setting, I don't think I would respect it, my opinion. I'd kill the walkers. Send AJ to the window. Clem went through the window at one point in season one. This part reminds me of it. I would do the rational choice and kill them because they are already dead. I'd kill the couple, but other than letting them starve to death, do walkers starve? Better than... I, she wouldn't risk AJ well-being over this, at least I believe so. Sending AJ could possibly teach him how to be brave? I feel like I would lose some part of my humanity to kill them after they ask to be left alone. If it was just Clem, I would kill them, but AJ makes me not want to even more. Left alone like this, kill them. This is parallel to Lee letting Clem go into the train station. My video and sound is perfect. Send AJ inside. Since I switched to watch... The difference between this, this situation and Clem this situation and Clem doing it, I feel like Clem was more okay about doing it, whereas in this in this instance, AJ doesn't seem okay with it. He's like, he's only gonna do it because Clementine asks him to do it, not because not because he's okay with it. So, um, I have a choice to send AJ to danger. If I have a choice to send AJ to danger to accept the, the last wish of a couple, I I never knew. Kill the couple to prevent AJ from danger, I would choose the latter. I would send AJ inside, it is dark and something could be in there, but I don't think Telltale would do anything to AJ in that way or kill him. Oh, the plot the plot armor. AJ has some plot armor. I believe, <laughs> if we were trying to go meta, if all of these choices are supposed to train AJ, to, if, if, it's, if, if it's supposed to influence how he will become, they're going to keep AJ alive at least until the end. They would not kill him within the first five minutes of the game. So if you're trying to be meta, AJ has some ridiculous plot armor right now, simply because the part of the major mechanic of this game is training him up and trying to find out what kind of person he will be, which means he has to survive. There's no choice but to have AJ survive. But I don't want to make the decision based on that, based on the plot armor. Um, I think personally it would be a goal to protect AJ at all costs and not risk him being stuck when we don't know what's on the other side. But I would also think to check in there by climbing the bars, but that's not an option. Yeah, that actually would be the smart thing. This makes me think of grabbing the key from the zombie S1 from, from E5. Kill the zombie to be safe. I do believe in the soul as well, but I value safety and solving problems over religion beliefs, if that's me. I feel like they should be able to find a stick, a bat, something, a broomstick to like get to the key. Something. I don't know. Um, yes, if AJ goes through, you are separated. You can't get through that door and help him be in trouble. I'd send AJ inside. Stuff like that happened numerous times in season one. Send AJ inside so he can die? Um, hey Hark, what has been the weakest season out of all four of them? I don't know. Um, I haven't played the fourth season, so I don't know. Um, true Clem was gone. I think Clem would kill the couple. Even if he has plot armor, you want to put him through the trauma still. Could you save question? Um, so, um, even if he has plot armor, could you put him through the trauma? He's lived through this his entire life. I feel like you'd be surprised what kind of things shouldn't phase AJ by this point, because his entire life has been this world. I feel like walkers are just par for the course. So, yes, he's scared to go in there, but I feel like, you know, he needs to learn some bravery at some point. Because um, this is just the world that he lives in. This is like his day-to-day. -day. But 
what I will say though is I believe that those people asked to be left alone but here's here's what I think those people asked to be left alone but I don't believe those people are those people anymore once you become a walker that's not you anymore you know and this um, yeah it's once you become a walker it's not you anymore and that was my mentality of why I chose to have Clementine not shoot Lee because I believed that Lee turning into a walker isn't dooming him because and again that's because of my belief of the soul I believe the soul leaves the body when you die just me personally and so again if the soul leaves the body I don't care what happens to my body like that doesn't determine that I don't suffer suffer because my body is wandering around as a walker it doesn't matter so because of that I sort of placed that general belief into Lee as well I don't know if Lee actually believes that too but that's me controlling Lee that was the mentality that I had where you know shooting someone as a walker isn't necessarily putting them out of their misery they're not miserable they're dead <laughs> in, in my belief that's just my belief um, but shooting someone does prevent them from hurting other people and that would have been a reason for Clementine to shoot Lee but I guess he just didn't want Clementine to feel that he didn't want Clementine to lose the innocence yet of having to shoot him but anyway I think AJ probably has tons of experience being break break at this point. Maybe just the angle, but the hole looks small enough for AJ. Um, like he could stick his head in, but not his whole body. Jesus promised Jesus promised the dead would walk again. So in the Telltale Universe, we can safely say Christianity is all true. I think that was a quote by Herschel Green. You know, I believed in the resurrection, but not like this. I believe in life after death, but not after like this. Uh, I'd like to think your soul would have left. So. These people said to be left alone. I can imagine A, they're not this, the people anymore, and B, even if they were the people, if they were good people, if they were good people, just like the sign outside says, um, they would want Clementine to kill them to avoid putting AJ in danger. That's what I believe, that they would want, that's what they would want to have happen. So, we're gonna kill the couple. I'll get the key. That's my reasoning, and I'm sticking to it. I'm sorry. in peace you should good job thank you <sighs> sorry it had to go this way sorry not sorry thing going here. Can we stay here? We'll see. No one's here. No one's ever anywhere. It's always just monsters. I'm here, kiddo. I know. Are you saying I'm not someone? That's not what I mean. Bullets. We have bullets. AJ's Just a great a shot. Nice. Good you to know Remember what we said? You know this. Save the last bullet for yourself. That's kind of morbid, though. Always, Always aim for the head. That's right. Given that, given that, um, considering that Miley told Clementine not to kill him, not to shoot him, save that last bullet, um, 
Clementine probably would not have had the mentality to save the bullet, last bullet for herself, I think. Because um, Lee didn't want to save the last bullet for himself. So I feel like it makes more sense for Clementine to not really make that her top priority compared to aim for the head, which is more, which is a very Come practical on. thing. Let's keep looking. There's got to be something we can eat. Hope so. Fine food. Mm. Not the worst place to sleep. Oh, a crib. We didn't see a kid. Oh. No. No, we didn't. Might be why they gave up. Hmm. The kid might have died. There's some cans. Check on AJ. Check on AJ. I'm gonna check on AJ as much as I can. You good? Uh-huh. Just hungry. Grumbly in your tumbly? <laughs> no, just regular hungry. Regular hungry, okay. Spoiled. Sorry, buddy. These are long gone. Fuck. Yeah. Hey, watch the swears. I meant shoot. Look. Oh. Huh. Something underneath the bed. There's something underneath. Move the something mattress. Something under here. Maybe there's more food. Floor door? Huh, yeah. Hopefully they Must didn't... Must have wanted to hide something. Hopefully they didn't keep their kid in here. Like they couldn't bear to kill their kid, so hopefully they didn't keep the kid down there. Not with all the food. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, it is. Because bunker down here. I could eat for weeks with this much. Oh! Oh! Get out! It's rigged! Get out! Get out! Ah, uh, S! S! All the food! All that food! AJ! Oh, great. Well, that's... Oh. Oh, great. Just our luck. We had food for weeks. That's rough. 